Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the introduction of TCP guys. Okay, so what, what is TCP and what is UDP? These are the two common questions which are asked from this unit guys. So you need to concentrate on the theory part. Once you get the theory part, you can go to headers and you can learn them easily. Right? Okay. So the first thing that you should remember is TCP is a connection oriented. Whereas a UDP is a connectionless guys we will be discussing about the differences also don't worry okay so basically you need to remember those these two things like tcp is a connection oriented or connection protocol connection oriented protocol whereas udp is a connection less protocol okay so first let us go through some introduction about udp after that we will be moving on to tcp okay so first we will be discouraging or we will be seeing disadvantages of udp then we will be moving on to tcp guys to be clear okay Okay, so UDP is a simple protocol and has many uses, but it cannot provide reliable and sequenced data, sequenced data, like one packet after the other, like in the exact order, which is needed in most of the internet applications. Hence, TCP is used. So basically UDP, I told you, right, it is a connection less. So it is having multiple paths. So in this step, there is no need to, no need for you to establish the connection. You can send it directly automatically they are received somehow at their destination after some time or once you get to their negative acknowledgement or any kind of acknowledgement that they are not received, you will be retransmitting them in that way it will work okay so assume that you are sending an audio file guys okay guys i'm taking audio file because of a reason that you'll be understanding it clearly so assume that that is your favorite song so you are sending it okay okay so assume that you are sending in a communication where assume that you are using tcp Okay, so here the whole song will be divided to small, small notes or packets or whatever you want to call or around 5, 5 seconds bits. Okay, so all these small, small parts will be sent one after the other. Like after this, it will be received like that in the exact order in a particular path is nothing but TCP. Whereas in UDP, all these parts are transmitted, but we cannot say that they are transmitted in the same line. So basically, the whole thing depends on these things, guys. So if a packet 1 and packet 2 are sent at the same time, but in different paths, we cannot say that packet 1 will always receive first. So assume that packet 1 is having a longest path and packet 2 received after a single hop, single hop only. So in this situation, the packet 2 received first after that packet 1 came. So now try listening the song, guys. It will be in a different way, right? So it is not proper. So this is the main issue. Like data is in a not format so that is the reason why the to, today whatever applications we are using everything like most of them will be using tcp only so this drawback bought tcp into play okay so tcp is a connection oriented reliable and most commonly used protocol in transport layer okay so tcp was specifically designed to provide reliability end to end byte stream over unreliable internets and topologies, bandwidths and delays. So basically the previously we discussed, right? So because of delay only, we are facing all these issues. So if the flow control and everything is proper, then there will be no issues, right? Yes. So now let us go through the characteristics. The same theory we'll be discussing again in terms of points, guys. That's it. Nothing but characteristics. Connection oriented. So before actual transfer of data, the connection is established. So if you remember, we discussed about three phase handshaking, right? Okay. So in that also we first sent the request, then we got acknowledgement and then we transferred the data. So that is nothing but connection establishment guys. Okay. Okay. So that's what I done here. Similarly, full duplexed. So the connection established is bidirectional, like both of them can transmit data or they can send acknowledgements. There is no restriction that one only should send the data and other should receive. Right. Okay. And point to point. So it will be from a single sender to a single receiver. You can say them both are applications guys. That will be a better idea. Okay. Connection stability. Okay. Byte stream. Continuous flow of data from one to another. It will be done. Similarly, piggy banking. Piggy banking is one of the most important concept guys. Because in piggy banking, you can send acknowledgement plus data. Instead of sending separate acknowledgement and separate data, you can combine them and that is nothing but piggy banking. In simple words. Okay. Similarly, we can have idea about error control, flow control, congestion control. Okay. So all these can be established by using the TCP protocol guys. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about it. Right. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through some introduction about ports and all those things guys. Okay. Like we'll be discussing about TCP service model to be clear. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.